Hey guys, I wanted to give you my thoughts about um, the January 6th commission and uh, potential criminal referrals of, of Trump to the DOJ from that committee. I read an article this morning, perhaps you saw it, that the committee is apparently split over whether or not to send criminal referrals, recommendations for prosecution, to the Department of Justice uh, for Trump and uh, potentially, you know, other other high-ranking former Trump officials and co-conspirators. And the thinking, according to this article, of those who are opposed or potentially opposed to sending a criminal referral to DOJ is that they are worried about a criminal referral from from this committee to the DOJ being seen as overtly political and potentially, you know, clouding or, or, or staining any potential Department of Justice prosecution of Trump with, with uh, you know, accusations that this, this is purely political, that, that Merrick Garland and the DOJ only prosecuted Trump because of the politics, because... Um, you know, Congress sends over uh, referrals. And I completely understand that. Uh, and by the way, the reason why they're, they're thinking this is um, because they see signs that, that DOJ might actually go forward with prosecutions. Um, there was a story out in the last couple of weeks that there is now a grand jury looking more specifically at those who organized the rally and things that led up to January 6th, including potentially Trump's involvement, that coupled with this um, this opinion from a federal court judge within the last couple of weeks, um, where he said that Donald Trump more than likely committed crimes uh, related to January 6th, they think that those those couple of things taken together give the indication that DOJ might actually go forward, even without any additional pressure from the January 6th committee, might actually go forward with a, a criminal investigation and a prosecution of Donald Trump. And if that's the case, they are worried that their involvement by sending a criminal referral might taint that investigation and that prosecution. Uh, I think this is a big mistake. Uh, and, um, I need to go right now, but I'll continue with this later. Okay, I'm back. Um, finishing up my point. Now, here's why, even though I understand the committee or some of the people on the committee's reluctance um, to issue a criminal referral for making, you know, out of fear that it's going to seem overtly political and to give Republicans and Trump defenders the ability to just say this is purely political. Here's the problem with not sending a criminal referral. Number one, this is all based on the assumption that Merrick Garland is going to actually conduct a serious investigation or to prosecute Donald Trump. Um, I wouldn't make that assumption. And if they do not issue a criminal referral, now look, look, if Merrick Garland goes ahead and and does uh, prosecute, then there's no need for a criminal referral. So if if that happens before they have time to issue a criminal referral, great. Uh, but if the DOJ does not uh, proceed with a criminal prosecution, then for the January 6th committee to abstain from issuing a criminal referral would be to give away the only real leverage they have to try to force Merrick Garland to do the right thing here and to prosecute Donald Trump and his co-conspirators. And I wouldn't give that that leverage away. They need to use that leverage and they need to not assume that Merrick Garland, who up to this point has shown no evidence that he has the stones to do what's necessary here, um, I would, it would be a mistake to assume that he is going to, okay? Uh, I hope 
that their assumptions here are correct and that he does, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that chance. They should absolutely issue this criminal referral uh, for Trump and his, his co-conspirators. And another thing, if they don't do it for fear of giving Republicans and Trump supporters the ability to say that this, this is all political, if they do not issue a criminal referral, what do you think they're going to say then? They are going to use the fact that the January 6th committee does not issue a criminal referral to argue that any subsequent prosecution by the DOJ is itself overtly political. And they will, this is what they'll say. They'll say, look at the DOJ is just doing Biden's bidding. You know, he's just afraid of Donald Trump getting the Republican nomination in 2024, and he's using the DOJ to try to take him out with these baseless, bogus conspiracy theories and phony charges. Um, and look, even the January 6th committee didn't recommend criminal prosecution of Donald Trump. Even they, and they're just a bunch of partisan hacks on a witch hunt trying to get Trump for anything. Even they couldn't find evidence to warrant a criminal referral to the DOJ. But yet, still, Biden and his Department of Justice go ahead and proceed with a phony criminal prosecution. So, look, it would be a big mistake for them not to proceed with a criminal referral uh, because it's going to be argued as being overtly political if any you know if any eventual prosecution comes from the DOJ republicans trump supporters trump himself they're going to argue that it's overtly political any damn way so why give up your only leverage that you have to force Merrick Garland to do the right thing why give that up for fear of it being politicized for fear of it being uh, used against the committee and in defense of Donald Trump. No matter what the committee does, they're going to argue that it's politics. So how about just for once people do the damn right thing because it's the right thing to do instead of worrying about how it might play out politically somewhere down the line, worrying about what they might say? Stop. Just do the right thing and let the chips fall where they may. And the right thing here for the January 6th committee is to issue criminal referrals against anyone they find evidence committed a crime. And we know damn well there's a mountain of evidence for a criminal referral against Donald Trump. And as far as the DOJ, the right thing for them to do is their job, and that is to treat everyone as equals before the law. Donald Trump and his co-conspirators are not above the law. Anyone else would be investigated for what they've done. So the right thing for Merrick Garland to do is to investigate Donald Trump and everyone associated with what led up to January 6th, the attempt to steal the election and all of that, not just what happened on January 6th, but the attempt to uh, interfere with the with uh, the constitutional duties of Congress, with the attempt to prevent the certification of, of the Electoral College vote, all of that, not just the violence on January 6th, but everything surrounding the election and its aftermath. Anyone else would be investigated. So Donald Trump and his co-conspirators should be investigated. And if there is sufficient evidence to charge a crime, which pff, there is, we, we already know of more than enough evidence to substantiate any a whole slew of crimes. Uh, there, there's lots of crimes uh, that just in the public record, there's enough to prosecute Donald Trump to bring charges against him. That's what should happen. That's the right thing to do. So how about people just do the right thing? Congress, do the right thing. Finish your investigation and issue criminal referrals against anyone you have evidence has committed crimes. DOJ, do a real investigation and indict those for whom you find sufficient evidence to charge with crimes. How about that? Why doesn't everyone just do their damn job and let the chips fall where they may? Are we a country of laws or not? All right, that's it. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you again soon. If you haven't done so already, thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.